My name is Kelly, and I'm from the Management Study Guide's content team. In this course, we will talk about scheduling of operations in detail. Let's get started. Orion Bicycles is a leading manufacturer of bicycles in the whole country. When you look at the operation schedule running, you will see that there are various shifts that are running at Orion Bicycles. For almost the whole year, Orion Bicycles works in the day shift. However, about five months before the summer season, they double the shifts and start to work in the day as well as night shifts. Can you think why? This is because in the summer season, the demand for bicycles shoots up drastically. This is due to the fact that many of the schools have spring or summer break holidays, and kids love to take their bicycles out on a sunny day and roam around their neighborhoods on their bicycles. Due to the double shift, they are easily able to ramp up their operations by deciding to include an extra shift in their day-to-day -day operations. This decision is taken through the scheduling of operations so that the day-to-day -day operations of a plant can be planned effectively. Let's learn about scheduling of operations in further detail. Let's review the course objectives. Explain what is meant by scheduling of operations. Explain importance of scheduling of operations. Explain objectives of scheduling of operations. Explain what is meant by production environment. Explain what is production order statistics. Describe the aspects to consider for scheduling. Explain tasks of scheduling of operations. Explain principles of scheduling of operations. Explain approaches to scheduling of operations. Explain activities of operation scheduling. Explain role of shop floor activity control. Explain material handling and scheduling of operations. Explain workplace planning and scheduling operations. Explain factors affecting scheduling of operations. Describe challenges to scheduling of operations. Scheduling of operations deals with both time allocations as well as resource allocation for production of required quantity. There are three main objectives of scheduling of operations. Due importance to delivery date and avoiding delays in completion. Reducing time of job on machines. Proper utilization of work centers. Two essential parts of productivity are labor and capital. In scenario of limited resources, optimum and efficient utilization of labor and capital will generate favorable productivity. Productivity measurement also enables company to identify areas which require improvement or special focus. Forward scheduling. Forward scheduling is a type of scheduling where the planner considers ordered received date as the starting point for forward planning of all the activities. Workplace planning ensures optimum productivity by ensuring proper scheduling of operations through utilization of limited resources and prioritizes job order at different work centers. Organizations need to consider the following points while scheduling operations. Vendors and procurement. Design and layout. Factory location. Quality standards. Let's look at each one of them in detail. These challenges can be categorized as the following. Number one, pricing. Number two, economies of scale. Number three, work culture. Number four, technology. Number five, usage of resources. Number six, business environment. Number seven, market segmentation. Number eight, quality standards. With every course, you get to view the course content online, download the PowerPoint presentation and get the course completion certificate. With new courses added regularly, we offer you a continuous learning platform. Join our premium membership plan and get access to unlimited courses. All our plans are backed up by 30-day money-back guarantee. 
If you are not completely satisfied, we'll give you a full refund. We are so confident that you will enjoy the membership that we are willing to let you try at our risk, not yours.